uh, I want to, I was, welcome again. I had paused the recording. So welcome again to day number two of the Confidence with Clarity Challenge. Today is going to be all about uh, really understanding. And I'm going to share my screen with you here for a second. Your self-image is one of the most important uh, elements to take into consideration in your life. And I want to read a definition for you here today that I really love. A picture, the picture you hold of yourself determines the level of success you will achieve in life. A positive self-image is not the same thing as having an inflated ego. And uh, confidence is one of those things that people consider that you can be, con um, you can be egocentric. But this is not about uh, being egocentric or just being looking at me and me is really see yourself as the queen or king that you are. Having a positive self-image is self-respect that recognizes your strengths and your potential for success. So uh, as we are looking at to what is it that we need to do to close this year and, and close it on a high so we can create an amazing 2022, we need to understand that the way we are seeing ourselves is creating the results we are getting in life today. Um, you will act as the kind of person you think you are. No matter how much willpower you have, we can only act in the way we see ourselves. Um, whether you think you are a success, if you think you're a success, you will take the actions necessary to succeed. If you respect yourselves, others will respect you. And if you trust yourself, faith and confidence is what is, is, what is going to happen. It's how you're going to act. So it's really understanding that the more we accept who we are with all of that, the good, the not so good, and the everything in between, and obviously learning how to enhance our strengths and uh, develop and work on our weaknesses, the more we're going to strengthen that self-image because that self-image is what is really going to determine your success. And your self-image is based in self-knowledge and acceptance. So remember how I asked you today to think of the events of your life, all the positive and the negatives, and, and realizing that that makes you who you are? Well, today is all about really understanding that all those things that make you, 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 even though we sometimes think that we know ourselves good, we sometimes haven't spent enough time developing that awareness or having self-acceptance. Self so I want to share also the story of the castle and the apartment. And this is a story from Debbie Ford, who wrote a fantastic book uh, called The, the Light. I always forget the name. The Dark Side of the Light Chasers. And in her story, she shares how, imagine um, you were born as a magnificent castle with thousands of rooms, beautiful rooms. And then as you started inviting people into your castle, one person commented on the furniture in one room and they didn't like it, so you closed the room. Another person commented on the lighting, they didn't like it, you closed the room. And people went through your life, entering your room and criticizing parts of your castle until you ended up closing and closing rooms and you were left with a tiny two bedroom apartment. I like this picture because it's just like a mini apartment. And that's what happens with us. We are born full with 100% confidence. As kids, we have no barriers. We think we can fly, we can do anything. People come, circumstances come, events come, difficulties, challenges, and we start shutting down parts of ourselves and we end up living in a very restricted space of us. And what that does is you are disowning what makes you you. So I want you to, for a second now, think, what are the top three traits you love about yourself? Just write them down or think about them. What are the top three things you love the most about you traits? And the top three things you dislike most about you. So I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to think of that. Don't overthink it. Whatever comes is good. And I want you to look at those six words you have written on a piece of paper or think of those six words that you have just thought. Hopefully you can do it on a piece of paper. And with hand in heart, accept or really realize 
can you fully 100% say you accept those six traits, all of them, the good and not so good? I can tell you personally, <laughs> I have a span, not now because you know I've been working on this for a long time, but I spent a lot of years, probably almost 30 years of my life fighting so many things that made me me. me. And that energy is the biggest waste of, of time and energy of your life. I dislike parts of me that were so me and it's not as in this book is described, it's not in last until you don't own your full castle, you're never gonna be happy. You're never gonna have everything you want in life because you're literally losing who you are in the process. So all your traits are incredible. All the things that you don't like about you yourself, they make you you. And the more you accept them, accept them, the more they can diffuse, the more they can actually be worked on. So my invitation is really spend the time to realizing that those things of you that you fight are the ones that probably you need to start looking more and actually understanding what are the lessons? What are the, what is the lessons? So for example, one thing I disliked about me a long time, it was that I didn't feel confident. And it wasn't until I turned around the light into that dark side and put the light onto that lack of confidence that I was able not only to feel more confident, but actually do work with confidence every day of my life and be the foundation of the line of work that I do and allowing me to have the clarity to do something. And it has changed my relationship and it has changed what I do and it has changed my happiness. So it sounds simple, but it is such a profound concept. And I really want you to see that we need to start looking at ourselves on a, on a I'm gonna stop sharing the screen now. We need to start seeing ourselves in a, in a more, right and oh hang on a second my battery is gonna go flat we don't want that to happen sorry about that we want to see ourselves in a more positive light we want to be able in order for us to create our next level in our life in our career in our month in our business in our relationship we need to start seeing ourselves in a brighter light so acknowledge what is not uh your strongest traits, but do not try to fight them. Do not try to pretend that they're not there because they are there. So now, once we have done that, and as I say, you can always spend a little bit more minutes at the end of the session doing that. I want you to focus now in uh, what are the biggest positive list, make a list, and you, can, you will need to do this later because I know the list will be long. What are the most positive events of your life, your biggest accomplishments that are you most proud of? And it helps to do this exercise in chunks of seven years, one to seven, seven to 14, 14 to 21, and do it un until the next uh, window. And it's incredible what you get to see what are the things that you remember. You're gonna start seeing that the things you remember are the things that are still very present in your mind. They are very big part of your self image. And the more, as, as it says here, the more, you have the more self-knowledge and accept acceptance of who you are and who you plan to become, the more successful you will be. You cannot make changes. You cannot change the habits of behavior and thinking if you are not aware of where they're coming from. So before we start moving into creating and into setting goals and into clarifying what is what is going to be different, what we need to start doing now is understanding what are those biggest accomplishments and events, what are they teaching you, and what have been those biggest challenges in the past, and what are they teaching you. And once you accept your traits and your life experiences as they are, without being a victim of your circumstances, without pointing fingers at people, the more confidence and empowerment you will feel, I don't even know if that is right to say that way. So it's really important to get yourself in a celebrational mode after the acceptance. And as we are talking about 2021, it's also gonna be important to see what is it that you can celebrate about this year? What was good? What were the accomplishments? What were the learnings? And as I say, you can do it for all of your life, but you also can spend a little bit of time celebrating or what this year was, and if you are struggling, because I know there's a lot of people really understanding um, uh, where they are at and, and how can you celebrate what's happened this year, remember gratefulness is one of the most beautiful, positive, strong uh, energies to be connected to. What can you be grateful for today? You are alive. If you're listening to me, you are definitely alive. You can hear the sun is shining, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. You have your family with you. I don't know. You have friends. You have food. You have a roof under your 
uh, head. Let's start as much as I want you to acknowledge the whole castle, brilliant, full of virtuous person you are. I want you to also acknowledge that whatever has happened in your life that hasn't worked the way you want it to be has made you you and it's teach you something. So I know I'm repeating this a lot, but it's so important to understand that the more we accept the positive and negative of who we are and where we've been, the stronger we will be and the more clear we will be into what are we doing next? Because at the end of the day, what I want out of these five days together is that you set some goals for you for either the next month, the next year or the next five that are going to be in complete alignment with the woman or the man you are today. So I'm gonna send the replay and I'm gonna remind you what are the steps we're gonna do, but I'm gonna recap now. I want you to think of your top three traits, positive, the negatives. I want you to decide if you have fully, if you can fully say today, you accept that person that are there with the positive and the negative. I want you to think about the biggest lessons in your life. What have, what have been the biggest lessons out of the challenging uh, times you've had? And what is a list of all the accomplishments or positive events that you can remember out of your life? Having, spending that time revisiting where you've been, is one of the most powerful things you can do to regain clarity, confidence, and to develop your self-image that the stronger, the stronger that self-image becomes, the better it's going to be for you, the more aligned you will be, and the greater are the chances that you're going to succeed in whatever you set for you and your life. So I hope you guys are well wherever you are. Hit reply to the replay. Let me know your questions or any awarenesses you have had. And I'll see you tomorrow at the same time on this same link. Bye-bye.